America is a very large country. This place has an extremely large grain output. These are extremely favorable conditions for wild boars to take advantage of and attack crops. To ensure peace, a group of hunters stood up to chase wild boars out of the city. The hunters planned a hunt on a very large scale. Please join us as we follow a group of hunters to chase away wild boars and restore peace to the city. These are currently about 2.6 million wild boars that are living in the United States. The United States estimates feral pigs cause $1.5 billion in damage in the United States each year. Feral hogs are currently the most widespread unregulated species in the United States. From 1982 to 2016, the feral pig population in the United States increased from 2.4 million to an estimated 6.9 million. Of these, an estimated 2.6 million live in Texas alone. Feral pigs have expanded their range in the United States from 18 states in 1982 to 35 states in 2016. This rapid range expansion is likely due to an estimated 18 to 21 percent annual population increase. However, one of the main leading causes is the human-mediated transport of wild boars for hunting purposes. Wild boars are omnivores, often classified as opportunistic foragers. Their diet is primarily herbivorous, varying seasonally and regionally. Wild boars have the highest reproductive rate among ungulates. Females can breed all year round with an average number of offspring per litter of four to six offspring. Most wild boar populations have peak births that correlate with food availability with peaks typically occurring in the winter and spring months. Wild boar has been listed as one of the 100 worst alien invasive species in the world. In 2019, it was estimated that annual losses to the agricultural industry in Texas were approximately $118 million. Standing crops are not the only form of agriculture devastated by wild boars. Wild pigs also cause damage to hayfields, orchards, farming equipment and fences. Wild boars often search for food and water in residential areas. During droughts, it leads to damage to landscapes, fences and irrigation systems in residential areas, as well as community areas such as golf courses and parks. Wild boars roaming in residential areas can transmit many different diseases to domestic animals. Additionally, wild boar vehicle collisions can result in significant property damage, as well as human injuries and deaths. Researchers conservatively estimate damages related to wild boar vehicle collisions at $36 million annually in the United States alone. The only way to reduce the widespread impact of wild boars is to reduce the overall wild boar population. The most common control methods currently legalized in the United States are trapping and maneuvering, 
ground shooting and aerial shooting. Ground shooting includes the methods most commonly used in the United States of trained tracking dogs, night shooting and recreational hunting. Wild boars are usually active at dusk and dawn, and hunters can use sound suppression rifles to shoot pigs at night. One study showed that dogs could only catch four pigs a day before becoming too tired to hunt. Therefore, hunting wild boars with dogs is not an effective measure to reduce population on a large scale. Recreational wild boar hunting is very popular in the United States. However, hunting can influence wild boar behavior and recreational hunting has been shown to increase the dispersion of wild boar populations. Trapping is one of the most effective large-scale feral swine population reduction methods available in the United States. These types of traps are most effective when used to target small groups or single animals that frequently cause property damage. But the impact of traps is often limited because they cannot be deployed in remote areas that are difficult to reach by vehicle or boat. Aerial shooting is a highly effective method for rapidly reducing wild boar populations. This method is most effective in areas with sparse canopy and high wild boar densities. However, the high costs associated with hiring a plane and pilot may not be feasible for some. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. I hope my video is enough to meet what you're looking for. We always listen and absorb your suggestions to improve the content of our channel. If you find it interesting, please subscribe and comment below my video.